we want to find the point where the tangent line to y equals x cubed at x equals 0 0.8 crosses the x-axis. So we're looking for the x-intercept of the tangent line to the function y equals x cubed when x equals 8 tenths. So let's first look at this graphically. In blue we have the graph of y equals x cubed. When x equals 0 0.8, this would be the point on the function, and therefore this red line is a tangent line at that point, and our goal here is to find the x-intercept of this tangent line, so we want the coordinates of this point here. So to do this, we'll first find the point of tangency, which gives us a point on the line, and then to find the slope of the tangent line, we'll evaluate the derivative function at x equals 0 0.8. Once we find the equation of this tangent line, to find the x-intercept, we'll set y equal to zero and solve for x. So we'll begin by determining the point of tangency, which again would have an x-coordinate of 0 0.8, and the y-coordinate would be y of 0 0.8. Notice how we have x as a decimal. However, since 0 0.8 is equal to 8 tenths, which simplifies to 4 fifths, we could also express the point of tangency as having an x-coordinate of four-fifths and a y-coordinate of y of four-fifths. So it shouldn't matter whether we use decimals or fractions. However, if we do use decimals, we definitely don't want to round because we don't want approximations for our coordinates. So I think I'll go ahead and use fractions to solve this problem. So now we need to find y of four-fifths. Well, y of four-fifths is equal to four-fifths to the third, which is equal to four to the third divided by five to the third, which is equal to 64 divided by 125. So the point of tangency, which is a point on the line, would have an x-coordinate of four-fifths, and a y-coordinate of 64 over 125. So now to find the equation of our tangent line, we need to find the slope, which we can determine by evaluating the derivative function at 4 fifths, or if we want 0 0.8. So the slope of our tangent line is equal to y prime of 4 fifths, where y prime is equal to 3x to the second, and therefore y prime of 4 fifths equals 3, or 3 over 1, times 4 fifths squared, which would be 3 over 1 times 16 20 fifths, which equals 48 20 fifths. Now we have enough information to determine the equation of our tangent line. We know it contains the point 4 fifths comma 64 divided by 125, and also has a slope of 48 divided by 25. So using the point slope form of a line, the equation of the tangent line would be y minus y sub one, y sub one is 64 divided by 125 equals m, or the slope, which is 48 divided by 25 times the quantity x minus x sub one, x sub one is four fifths. So this is the equation of our tangent line. Now of course if we wanted to, we could solve this for y and write it in slope intercept form, but that's not our goal here. Our goal here is to find the x-intercept. So to find the x-intercept of any function, we set y equal to zero and solve for x. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So if we set y equal to zero, we would have the equation zero minus 64 divided by 125, or negative 64 divided by 125 equals 48 over 25 times the quantity x minus four-fifths. Now remember, our goal here is to solve for x to find the x-intercept. So while we could distribute, it'll be easier if we multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 48 25ths. 
which would be 25 divided by 48. So multiply both sides of the equation by 25 divided by 48. Notice on the right side, these are reciprocals, so this product is just one. So on the right side, we just have x minus four-fifths. On the left side, notice how this simplifies. There's one twenty-five and twenty-five, and five twenty-fives and one hundred twenty-five. And forty-eight and sixty-four share a common factor of sixteen. There are three sixteens and forty-eight, and four sixteens and sixty-four. But notice how we do have a negative here. So on the left we have negative four fifteenths. So if the last step is all for x, we would add four fifths to both sides. So we'd have negative four fifteenths plus four fifths equals x minus four fifths plus four fifths. Of course on the right this simplifies to zero. On the left, we have to obtain a common denominator, which would be 15. Multiply 4 fifths by 3 over 3. So we have x equals, here we'd have negative 4 fifteenths plus 12 fifteenths, which would be 8 fifteenths. So this gives us the point where the tangent line crosses the x-axis when x equals 0 0.8. And there are a couple of ways to express this we can say that the x-intercept is the point where the x-coordinate is eight-fifteenths and the y-coordinate is zero. Or we can also say the x-intercept equals eight-fifteenths. And I think in the homework, you're asked to express the x-intercept in this form here. So if we go back to our graph just for a moment, we found this point of tangency to have coordinates four-fifths comma sixty-four divided by one hundred twenty-five and we found the x-intercept here to have an x-coordinate of eight-fifteenths and of course a y-coordinate of zero. So this graph does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.